Hello and welcome back to Own Your Beauty. Today's video is going to be a random haul. Um, it's got some bits in here that I need for travelling and some other skincare and then random additional bits too. Um, I'm just in from work not too long ago. I've had myself a cup of tea but I wanted to get this recorded so I could actually get on with packing tonight. So, I'm going to dig in. Multi-pack of tissues. Always very useful. Um, from Boots I picked up one of their travel sets. Now it's got three bottles in the back and then um, got some of my hair there too. Fluff I was going to say. Two sprays that you can pop on top and this little tub. So I'll probably pop my cleansing balm in there from the body shop. And then in these three I am guessing a toner and well two toners definitely. I have another wee thing I want for my cleanser but my cellar solution possibly as well. So useful. This is what I got for the cleanser. It's just came separately. It's got a pump so I can put my Vichy morning cleanser in there. Um, you would have seen that when I did my morning skincare routine, but I like to have it with me. I tried out other travel skincare or other skincare when I was traveling recently and it just ruined my skin a bit. So I'm just now getting it back to normal apart from a few blemishes. And I don't want to stop now, so I'm bringing everything with me that I can. Just gonna condense it a bit. Oh, I meant to say, as part of that we set, you also get a wee funnel, so that'll be useful for anything else I try to pour into little bottles. From Urban Decay, I have the D Slick Makeup Setting Spray Oil Control, and this is the travel size version. I do have the full size, but again, I'm trying to be good with space and just condense things a bit more, so taking the travel with me, and plus that would be really handy just in my handbag in general. These are kind of travel related. We're going um, snowboarding for a week and although there is a lovely spa there and everything and I would probably make use of it at some point without a doubt, I also wanted to have an evening where, you know, me and Simon might watch a film and stay in and drink hot chocolate or something and relax. That's the plan anyway at some point. So I got some face masks I could take with me. Now I've, tried, I've used this one before, it's the Dead Sea Mud Spa Sheet Mask. You would have seen this in my empties often enough. I love these so I got one of those. And I got two of these. I think these are relatively new. They're the Seventh Heaven Blemish Mud, and it's deep cleansing and soothing for problem skin. And I got two because it was a three for two. I thought I'd try one tonight, see how they work, and then if they work really well, I'll bring one with me. So I've got two masks if I want them, maybe. Um, I have another chamomile cleansing butter. My one that I have is on its last legs, and I'm probably going to clean it out and take it with me and use it up um, so it'll be good to have a good one or a new one when I get back. This is definitely travel related in my opinion. It's the Max Factor False Effect or False Lash Effect Mascara and it's a waterproof one. We're going snowboarding, I don't own any waterproof mascaras and I thought it would be a good idea if it's snowing or wet in any way. You need a waterproof mascara so bringing that. Now the rest aren't really travel related, so my MAC brush clean cleanser, you would have seen in my empty. I finished it up and I desperately needed another one. I actually did try and get the pre-marked one, but they didn't have any in store. Um, this was a bit of an impulse buy. So, yeah, but it wasn't too bad. The Mavala, uh, I don't know how to say this, it's the um, Mavala dry spray. So it's for your nails, just to make them dry that bit quicker. I'm starting to get a bit fed up with Sesh Feet because it, um, it started to get a bit thick really quickly on me and I'm just not impressed with it as much anymore. It definitely does leave my nails really glossy. As you can see, I have it on over the top of these. If you're interested in what I have on my nails, I did a blog post on it, but um, you can check that out down below. There will be a link to it down below. I like it, but it's starting to annoy me because it's so thick and it just gloops up really quickly. So I might get a different one and it'd be handy to have just a spray coat I can use so I can use whatever top coat I want. Makes sense. I have a Pit Rock Roll-On Deodorant, Berry Burst. Again, I've done a post recently on natural deodorants and this is another one. Um, it even says it doesn't contain all the sort of bad stuff. It's just, I would rather more use a more natural deodorant, but this one smells nicer. Just roll it so you can, I suppose so you can have a sniff. But it's um, nice and fruity and quite fresh and I just want something with a wee bit of a scent to it because the one I'm using has no scent whatsoever and I would like a wee bit of a scent. From Rimmel, I have the Brow This Way. It's a brow styling gel. Now I have the one from L'Oreal and I actually have it on today and I'm quite enjoying it but I thought it'd be useful to do a comparison because I have also tried the Benefit one. So I might do a wee comparison on those so you can check that out in future. 
And lastly, no, not lastly, I have another few wee bits. Um, these rings from H&M. So these are quite plain, just sort of silvery and with a wee bit of patterning on some of them and plain other ones. Just wanted some midi rings. I haven't, I've got one or two and that's about it. So I wanted a few more. These are only three pounds and they look quite nice on. A wee bit of a bargain there. Now, popped in briefly to m and I'm gonna pick up a really rattly bag, sorry. Popped into m and just to grab my necklace holder, which isn't going to be in this video. If you're interested, I did actually get myself a bracelet um, and bangle holder thing and a necklace holder. Um, I got one from m and and one from TK Maxx. Or, no, not TK Maxx, HomeSense. So the, the home version of it. Um, but I have included them briefly in the vlog, you know, just showing you how it's set up and everything else. So I will leave my vlog channel down below. It would probably be in the most recent vlog, so you can check that out. But while I was there, they were having a really good sale on, on some of the more wintry clothes. So, again, snowboarding, I picked up these thermal knee highs and they were £6 for two. So, a bit of a bargain and I like the colours and they will probably be still fine for next year. So, if you need anything for next year, good idea to pick some bits up. And I got some night jammies. Night jammies? Yes, pyjamas. I got these jammy bottoms and they're just a bit stretchy and with pretend tie on the front. Or oh, is it a real tie? No, it's a pretend tie. Some pockets. They're nice and sort of heavy of themselves. They're just a heavy cotton, I think. I think even. Yeah, and they were down to £10. And with that, I also got myself a new pyjama top. And I just thought it was really just cute. It's got a bit of lace detailing sort of thing going on at the back and then a wee bit onto the shoulders at the front and it's got a long sleeve and it's showing me up, up a wee bit funny in the camera but it's a kind of an oatmeal-y kind of colour. Sorry my lighting's probably awful because it's the evening but it's an oatmeal-y kind of colour and it's nice and comfy and I'm taking them with me when I go on holidays just as a bit of a treat. I wanted warmer pyjamas. The jammies I have aren't warm enough. That's my theory. Anyway, um, this is just a quick haul and to say hello and I hope you're keeping well and hopefully I've managed to get up two videos this week, fingers crossed, possibly three. I'm away snowboarding, I'm very very sorry. I hope you're having a lovely time. If you have any questions please let me know down below. Sorry this was rushed through but I want to get on with packing and using the stuff I've just shown you. So I'm going to get on. Thank you very very much for watching. Please like if you liked, please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video.